Our map is starting to take some form with the land masses and mountains included. Up next is adding deserts and islands. Now if you are new to Campaign Cartographer 3, I suggest you go and watch the other videos in this series first. But if you want to dive directly in here and uh, you don't mind getting information out of order, then uh, please stay. I'm not going to tell you what to do, so <laughs> up to you. You don't have to make any notes though. As with the last installments uh, in this video series, I have included my complete step-by-step -step guide that covers everything that I'm teaching you in, in this video series. Now this 11-page document is for available for free download in the description field below. So in a moment, I will be sharing my screen. So welcome back to screen sharing. This is where we left off with our map last, last time. We've played some, uh, some mountains. We added our contours uh, inside the mountains to give it this sandy color effect. And we also made sure that our coastlines had a nice effect all the way around it to make it uh, resemble shallower water. So as I said in the introduction, what we're going, going to do today is to start filling up uh, some of the a lot of open space we have while we do still have space to maneuver upon we want to add deserts and icelands so that's what we're going to do today first up is deserts and uh, for deserts i'm using my own little trick and it is one i found that produces the best results the first thing you want to do is click the click link for natural features and as always, we choose CC3 filled natural. What this does, as you can see, it changes the catalog items to, to the left side of the screen. And what we want to do is scroll all the way to the bottom and you will see something called sand. That's the one we're looking for. So we click that one, which will give us a sand feature that we can place, place onto the map. Now the first thing you do, like just like we did for the mountain, is right click first and your scale, make sure that the scale is set to 0 0.5. Click more. Now it's resized to the correct sizing. Now where we place deserts on the map does matter if we want it to be realistic. I have written a book on fantasy map making where I do explain uh, what you need to know in terms of where sand, sand and deserts in this case should be placed to make it most realistic. But since this is a tutorial on how to use Campaign Cartographer 3, I won't bother too much about it and I'll just decide to place my deserts on the island down here. So what you, you, what you do with this icon here is basically you just fill the whole thing up with, these, um, with this catalog item of sand. And what I try to do is making sure that none of the underlying green is visible. So just fill the whole thing up. Like that. And once we're done, we right click, click finish to get rid of that. So I think this looks pretty good for a desert. I have tried out several different options, uh, even inside the contours. You can also find something called sand. If you want, you can uh, play around with that and see if you can make it look good. But uh, I think that this is the this is the best method. And it also has these kind of nice uh, sand banks resemblance uh, inside this. So uh, for me, this is, uh, this is what I'll go for for deserts. Next up, we want to place some icelands. So just like we did for the mountains, I like to zoom in on the area where we want to place our icelands. Now again, there are things to know about the realism on where to place icelands, but uh, this is an example, so uh, let's just place them down here. 
Now, I, I have no idea why there would be Iceland next to a desert, but <laughs> it uh, that's the way it is for our example here. So what I think I would like to do is start by adding some snowy mountains. So if we go back to our mountain catalog, you will find a bit, if you scroll a bit down, you'll find some mountains here and you even can find some with the R on it as and as you remember from the last or previous videos the R is for randomizing so it will randomize you can see that they each mountain looks slightly different so what I'm what I'll try to do here and let me select another one I want a few of these great peaks and then some this really big ones in the middle with the clouds around them and then we have some of the slightly smaller ones so just fill this stuff out Now again, there is rules to how mountain ranges form, and um, mountains uh, always run in certain patterns, which is also something you can learn more about in the in the book I mentioned if you're interested. But for now, this is our mountain mountain or snowy place, and to make it more snowy, what we want to do now is to add some snow feeling underneath it so just like we did for the mountains we go to default contour line and the one you want to use here is contour default 05 which is completely white so we select that one and now we have our crosshair and i think you know the method by now it's uh, it's about clicking all the way around just slightly on the inside And once we get back to our starting point, as you recall, we right click uh, just to fill this one out with some snow. Right click, right click. And what you can do now is I'll just uh, press the redraw to show you. You see that? Now it's underneath. Uh, with a nice white color and once we zoom out um, it's going to be even more obvious but the effect already takes place because we already in the last video put the effects onto the contours uh, as you can see up here we are on the contours land and we are on the layer that uh, is called minerals and mountains and on the contours land sheet we already added the effects in the last video, so that's why it automatically takes uh, changes it so that it looks good. But what I wanted to do before zooming out was to click on the coast and sea and fill coast and sea. What you will find in this menu is you will find some ice packs. Again, just right click, check the size is incorrect. And we are still on 05, so that's what we wanted. So I'll add some packs of ice in the water. And then let's have a few icebergs as well in between here. Okay. If we zoom out. So there you have it. Now that we zoomed out, you see that we have our desert and we have our Icelands. Uh, now, if you should, of course, spend time to make this re looking real nice. Uh, I mean, the packs of ice should go all the way out to the edges. What I've also played around with sometimes is adding this uh, contour uh, of snow 
into the water itself. You can play around with that as well to see if you think that looks good. But for now, uh, you know how to place deserts and you also know how to place snow and um, snowy mountains and ice packs and icebergs on your map. So there you have it. So that's it for this time around, guys. Next time around, we'll go into adding rivers and lakes. So thank you so much for watching.